I told you. I went out on a limb. What? I, I went out on a limb, and I, I, and I feel bad about it. And I said the Lobo basketball team wouldn't go undefeated. And they lost this weekend on the road. It's your fault. Actually, it wasn't this weekend. It was Tuesday. 66-63. Lobos missed 50, uh, 11 free throws, a bunch at the rim. Look, this, this is one of those losses where it, there's no reason to lose your mind. Would have liked to win. Played well. But went on the road and uh, and lost to a decent team in, in a situation. Had a chance to win if you make some free throws. I still have more positives than negatives coming out of that loss to UTEP for this Lobo men's basketball team. I, I like the backcourt. I like the aggressiveness they played with on both ends of the floor. Now, there's still some pieces coming together, which you expect with this squad. Now, the split. I think will be key just for the fan base to keep some sanity because it's fanatical. It's what happens with fans. But it's going to be a tough game against Mexico State. We'll react to it, of course, all on the opening drive. But I, like, still coming out of it, everything this team can achieve is still right there. Such no a doubt. key stretch, right? With the with the game in El Paso on Tuesday, in Las Cruces on Thursday, and then Monday they're going to be in Brooklyn to play Auburn, who was a Final Four team last year and ranked in the top 20 currently, and then a game the next day against either Wisconsin or, or Richmond. We're going to learn a lot about this team, and we knew in the in this two-week stretch. Yeah, and it's, it's huge for just the fan base for themselves this season. Because you want to start seeing some of those positives in the non-conference. Because yeah. we haven't had that for a while at the University of New Mexico. And these are huge opportunities. One, you just want to break the streak against the Aggies. You want to stop here in about five in a row. And then to go in there and play top 25 competition in Auburn. Maybe match up against Wisconsin. You know, th- These opportunities are few and far between these days with non-conference scheduling. So this is, is a huge stretch for this team just to build some positivity. Maybe buy into the hype a little bit for the fans. No going in the conference play. All right, great work by you. J.J. was on the road in Boise last week, filling in for Dontrell Moore on the Lobo football broadcast. Lobo football back at home Saturday afternoon against Air Force, an Air Force team that's actually really good. And, and coaches have told me, they told me before the season, and we've watched it play out, this might be as athletic an Air Force team as we've seen on the football field in a long, long time, if not ever. And when you hear it from multiple coaches, when you keep hearing it, that's then you see it. Then you buy into. It's not just coach speak ahead of the game where Bob Davy told us, you know, Monday morning, this is the best Air Force team overall that he feels that they've played to this point in the season. You see it on the field, um, <laughs> just not good enough. That's what I keep going back to with local football. They, you know, being there in Boise, traveling with this team, it, it was really emotional. But I. I they don't quit. Like, I never got that feeling. Yeah. They just get beat. They're just not good enough. And the way the season ends against Air Force and Utah State, I think you're just going to see more of that. Go out and enjoy Lobo football. You don't have a lot of opportunities left. It should be a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Lobo's and Air Force, it's noon at Dreamstyle Stadium. And your weekly bench warmers code word is turkey. And text ABQMAG, A-B-Q-M-A-G, to 62582 for your chance to win two tickets to Albuquerque, the magazine's Best of the City Party.